Uh, I was with uh, the NWA. That's, do you remember when they, we were on Channel 17, you know, going around. Mm -hmm. And when Vince started to, uh, to uh, take over, uh, I got a phone call from Ernie Ladd. Ernie said, uh, Paul, you need to give Mr. McMahon Sr. a call. He wants to talk to you. Well, I waited a few days, called him, and blah, blah, and this and that. And, uh, Ole was the, the booker there with Turner, mm -hmm. and he wanted me to sign a contract, but it wasn't, you know, it wasn't guaranteed me any money or this or that. Right. And, uh, Although I was making good money there, I mean, and I got along with Ole. Right. Ole was a different cat too. But I <laughs> like Ole. I liked him. But anyway, he uh, so Mr. McMahon, when they were going to start this whole thing, and it was a gamble. Of course, I've you know, listen, you got to gamble in life. Sometimes you you got to gamble, and I said to myself. And from what Ernie told me, he said, Mr. McMahon says he's going to do this, he's going to do that, he's going to do it. And then New York was the place to go, unless facing them back then. If you went to New York... You... That was the Mecca. Yeah, absolutely. And, uh, you know, via Madison Square Garden and all this and that. And, and uh, so I told him, I said, and they were going to be starting, you know, this whole thing was going to start, and it was about eight months from the date that Ole wanted me to sign these contracts. Mm -hmm. So what he did, he said, I'll take care of you. And uh, he sent me to Japan and took care of me for eight months, you know, paid my bills. I mean, not, he, I made enough money through him and everything without starting up there or anything. And uh, that went on for about eight months. And then, uh, anyway, I told Ole and Devin, right. you know, those people, uh, I'm, I'm not going to sign it. And that's where all the promoters and everybody were all panicking because by this time, you know, they heard what was going on and, you know, some of us were jumping ships and to another. Was there a real big panic among all the territories with Vince? Yes. Started with Vince Sr., though, correct? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. But uh, Vince. But Vince Senior, because of his name, reputation, and everything, nobody knew Vinny. No, nobody knew him. So they had to start with his, you know, his dad. His father had uh, cancer. Right. And uh, so anyway, I remember about eight months later, we were in Allentown, and here we go. Mm -hmm. 